Welcome back to Doing Bar Things. In today's lunch break episode, um, I'm going to actually um, kind of spitball through a couple things right, right now. Um, first off, let's go into the 5000 series from NVIDIA. Uh, <laughs> I just want to point out on these cards, um, the power consumption has definitely gone up. So if you look here, if you're planning on getting a 5090 <clears throat> because you have all the money, um, I would be ready. Uh, you want, I think for this, if you're using a modern high-end CPU, um, depending, you know, um, uh, I think you're looking at probably, say you get a 9800X3D, you're probably looking in that 180 watt range for that thing at full tilt, I believe. You know, they say 120 watt TDP or whatever, but it, you know, you. I think overclocked or if you tweak it, you know, they've gotten up to 180 watts. So for any of the AMD CPUs, I would just assume 200 to about 230 watts. Uh, I believe is a fairly safe bet to give your guesstimate on how much juice you're going to be sucking down there. And then the 5090 rated for 600 watts. Um, so the PCIe slot will give you 75 watts. And then if it's taking a total of 600 watts, the, the cable is rated for 600 watts. The actual, uh, what is it, the 16 pin um, connector that was blown up on the 4090s with its 450 watts. So I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> That's one of my, I was looking at this going, man, this really is kind of uh, scary from the plug standpoint. I really hope they've sorted that out on this card. Um, anyway, so you're claiming 600 watts here. Total, was that total board? No, it's not TB it's or t, it's TGB anyway um, so I would expect 450 to 600 watts you know go ahead and prepare for 600 watts if we add that together GPU and CPU we're talking 800 watts 850 watts by itself so an 850 watt PSU I would not recommend uh, for that high-end build. I would say you want a thousand watts. At least. At least a thousand watt power supply to be on the safe side to give you the room because obviously you know your all of your componentry is going to be obviously need to be powered. Um, fans, AIO, whatever. I think thousand watt is kind of the minimum here um, is what I would suggest. Um, maybe even edge your bets a little bit more and go with the 1200 watt, but I think you should be fine with a thousand watts. Um, you just want a hundred to 200 watts of headroom, basically. Typically, your so the curve is usually in that 60 to 90 percent range. You don't want to use a hundred percent of your power supply. You're you're on the bleeding edge there, right? Um, you kind of want that 100 to 300 or so watts of um, head space, headroom, and that allows the power supply to run where it's most efficient, no matter how much juice you're sucking down, you know, from your system. Um, and, and also, I think it's much safer that way uh, in the event of some sort of power spike, you know, something where, um, like. Intel CPU jumps up and takes a bunch of watts before it goes down, that kind of thing. Um, that, that's not even talking about Intel CPUs. If you got a 14900K, holy crap, 1200 watt power supply. <laughs> Maybe I should say that uh, if you're going to run one of these GPUs. Even the, uh, the 5080, I mean, 400 watts, you start monkeying around with that a bit, it'll take over 400 watts, I'm sure. Um, you know, so I guess what I'm trying to say is uh you know get ready to upgrade your power supplies for these two top end graphics cards the 4080 i think was in that 320 350 watt range so we've definitely 
increase there. We've really increased on the 5090 from the 4090. Um, and I think anybody planning on blowing the, that kind of money probably has enough money for a power supply, but you know, make sure you check that out and don't, don't assume that you've got the wattage to handle that. Um, I would definitely, definitely be ready for, um, you know, like I said, at least a thousand watts. I would not go under a thousand watt power supply for, for a 5090. Um, for a 5080, um, maybe, yeah, an 850 watt, you could probably do it, but I wouldn't go under that, probably, um, depending on your CPU. A 750 watt, uh, maybe with a 9800X 3D or you know AMD chip. If you're running a 14900K, honestly, just play it safe. Get an 850 watt. You ain't got to worry about it at least with the the 5080. Um, yeah, because 400 watts there, you monkey around a little bit, probably go 450 watts, maybe even. Um, God, if you're on a 14900K though, I mean, 250, 300 watts or more, depending. Um, yeah, so maybe if you're, you know, so, so we'll do it like this. <clears throat> Intel 5090, 1200 watts. Um, Intel 5080, uh, 1000 watts. AMD, you can go minimum 1000 here, minimum to uh, the 5080, minimum 850. Kind of like that, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll see what the the power supply recommendations are on these, but that's kind of that's kind of what I'm seeing there. And I, I thought I would just throw that out there as kind of like a PSA, like hey. Uh, watch out, these things are going to suck down the power. Um, so be ready and prepared for that if you're going to plop the money down. Um, again, I just, I, I'm not going to plop the money down for these um, unless something really crazy happens. Uh, you know, with like I get some crazy Christmas money or something, then, you know, maybe, but I, I don't think that's going to be what happens there. Um, and so I'm looking more kind of lower end myself kind of want to tap the craziness a little bit um but that's that's kind of what i what i'm figuring out uh to prepare someone for if they're going to spend the money on one of these machine on one of these cards Woo, just you know if you had a 50 if you had a 40 90 before then you're probably prepared for this um but just be aware um and if you are looking for a power supply, if you want to spend all the money, <laughs> Noctua and Seasonic have teamed up. Really interesting team up here. They've got a 1600 watt Noctua edition Seasonic power supply. Um, it's a big power supply. Make sure your case can handle it if you're going to buy this. It's 569 bucks, I think. Yeah. So 569 bucks, 570 bucks. Get your 16 hundred watt power supply. You wouldn't have to worry about anything, that's for sure. Uh, I think power-wise, you'd be all set um, for your 5090. Uh, but uh, man, that's that's a lot of money. It's a lot of power. Um, yeah, interesting. Anyway, just thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, it's cool, you know, but holy smokes. And I wonder. Yeah, look, see, it supports two of the plugs. Not shocked by that. I mean, I think um, there may be 5090s out there that actually have two plugs on them. So it's something to kind of keep in mind if you don't want to run uh, two adapter or an adapter. And then, you know, because most like a thousand watt power supply will probably have one. Uh, mine does. But some of these 5090s, I think they're going to come out. They may have two plugs which would suck if you have to run one straight from your power supply and then the other into an adapter into the GPU. So just something to kind of keep in mind um, when you're looking at power supplies. If you're going to go with a 5090, I mean, I I think most all of them will be just one plug, you know, but it depends. If you're going to buy the really super uber extreme one, if 
right off the bat they demand 600 watts i could see them adding a second plug remember you only get 75 watts out of the slot so ah uh, man anyway maybe if you're gonna buy 50 90 just wait until after they come out before you buy your power supply honestly um you pick your card and then match the power supply with it uh might be might be the proper thing to do because we don't know what we don't know, right? Um, <clears throat> I was on video cards here, and you know, there's some talk about Battle Mage. Honestly, I wouldn't even worry that much about Battle Mage. <laughs> I mean, if it comes out and it's good, then great. But like the B580, you know, it's going to come out. If you're looking at low end, maybe there's something there, uh, price wise. But we'll have to see. I'm I'm just not thinking. It's going to be all that great. Unfortunately, I think AMD and NVIDIA are going to be battling out in the mid to low range. And NVIDIA is just, you know, uh, anything from the 5070 Ti to the 5090 is going to be out there kind of on its own. So I suspect maybe AMD competes with the 5070 Ti. Maybe. That's a big maybe. Um, I do think they will compete with the 5070. So the 5070 will be about as fast as the 4070 Ti Super, roughly. Um, it'll have a reduced price, and I kind of think RDNA 4, at least in raster performance, will fall into that category right about there. And then they're going to duke it out in RTX, uh, ray tracing. So that's kind of where I feel like it's going to be. Um, Intel, I just don't think factors in, which is why I'm not really spending much time talking about it. Last little tidbit for today. I'm looking to upgrade somebody from a 1080 Ti. And there are some options out there. But it's funny um, because I really think <clears throat> those trying to come from a 1080 Ti who don't have as much money as they did <laughs> when they did that. Uh, I kind of think the 7800 XT is sort of the, the deal. Um, everything I've seen, it's about give or take from... 50% to 150% as fast, give or take. For 449, uh, that'll probably get you by for a while, you know. Um, so that was something I was looking at for my friend. I think that's probably what I'm gonna pull the trigger on. So anyway, um, you know. Well, uh, actually, it's my uncle. Um, I'm gonna try to get him a couple upgrades. We're gonna get him, I think, an X3D chip. He's got an AM4 uh, system. So I think I'm going to get him like a 5700X3D. I'm going to match it with uh, like a 7800XT video card. That'll replace his 5600X and his 1080Ti, which I think is a real thing that's kind of holding him back a little bit there. Uh, I'm hoping that that'll be really good for him. So, uh, And a new case. He's got this old case that has like a glass front and it's really restrictive. So we're going to get him some airflow with a brand new Lee & Lee Lancol 207, which is only 80 bucks, has four fans in it. Um, I'm probably going to get him a new cooler of some kind. Um, haven't haven't decided on that yet, but we'll probably do that. And yeah, I think he'll be off to the races. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, which may means I may make a trip over to Micro Center on <laughs> on a Black Friday, which is always exciting. Uh, yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I um, hope everybody's having a good week. I hope you, everybody has a great Thanksgiving um, if you're in the U.S. And we'll see you in the next video.